everyone a very warm welcome to WSQ Tech so guys in our previous session we have covered that how a violent plot can be plotted in our today's session we'll be talking about step plot so guys as the name itself is suggesting a step plot looks like a stairs how, if you have seen a stairs this is how a step plot looks like let, let me just show it to you that how it looks like as well so that you can see it looks like in a formation it's in a formation of stairs so this is why this is called as a step plot now let's have a look on how a step plot can be plotted here. To plot a step plot, we have a very simple method. First of all, let's import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Once we have imported imported this, we'll import uh, numpy as well. So import numpy as np. Once we have imported numpy, we will be creating our x-axis in the y-axis. So x is equals to, let's take the values as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And let's take the y value as, I'll be taking it as 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. And I'll keep this inside a list instead so i'll use a list here once we have created this uh, next thing that we need to do is simply we have to write plt dot step because we want to plot a step plot over here x comma y and plt dot show open close the parentheses so as soon as i run it this is how a step plot looks like so we have a, a step plot over here here we have a step on 20 we have a step on 30 we have a step on 40 then 50 and then 60 okay Similarly, um, if I talk about like, I'll just copy this from here and paste it here. If I want to give markers over here, if you want to give a marker, so you can give a marker like this. For example, in the double quotation, you can pass a star and as soon as we run it, it will come in a formation of stars. If you want to give a color over here, for example, green color stars you need, then you can give a color as well. So you can see, you can, you can change the markers also over here by writing G and star. And if you want to give anything like, for example, G and D, then it will give you a diamond shape over here. Similarly, let me just copy this data from here and I'll paste it over here. One more thing over here, one more function over here is there. Uh, for that, I need to change this from marker is equals to let's keep it star and we will be writing where. Now, what is this where function over here is where function tells us if you want this marker on the right edge of the stairs or on the left edge of the stairs. This changes the stairs as well. Like I'll show you the difference in between of both of them. So as soon as I run it, you can see over here, right now we have the marker over here, the stairs goes like this. Okay, now if I uh, put it as post and run it, now the stairs goes like this. So I'll just show you the difference over here by, uh, I'll just copy this code and write it over here. Or instead we can do one thing, I'll write it over here and we'll make it pre and I'll run it. So here you can now see the difference between both of them. So one stair is going uh, like it's going in this way that first there is a platform then it's going straight. But in this case, in the case of pre, there is first a uh, stair, then a platform, then a stair, then a platform, then a, pla uh, then a stair and then a platform over here. So this is the difference between pre and post basically. So I hope what is pre and post is clear to you. So these are some basic functions that can be applied over here. And if you want to check for more functions, we'll press the control and tab and you can see here we have pre data and that's all we have and simple basic markers and if you want to give them colors and that's all, they, these are the all functions that we have over here. Okay, so I hope you guys have no doubts in the question that how a step plot looks like. It's, it's, it's very basic and very simple plot. You can just simply plot the data over here, pass x and y. Simple functions over here that where you want to put the markers and if you want to show the markers and if, if you want the ma markers position to be on the right hand side of the stair or on the left hand side of the stair, how you want the orientation of the stair basically that define that is defined by where function over here. So I hope you guys have no doubts in the questions. In our next session, we'll be talking about the fill between function. So stay connected guys and I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.